And we're taking you straight to the outskirts of Kyiv, where India today's Gaurav Savant is reporting on a site that's just been attacked. System को पूरी तरह से ध्वस्त किया जा रहा है। इस बिल्डिंग में अभी तक किसी के हताहत होने की तो खबर नहीं है। कहा ये जा रहा है कि यहाँ पर जो लोग थे, वो तो भागने में सफल हुए, लेकिन इस मलबे को साफ करके वो देखने का प्रयास किया जा रहा है कि क्या यहाँ से किसी को सुरक्षित निकाला जा सकता है। फिलहाल कीव पर खतरा बड़ा है और बरकरार है। अगले 24 कैमरामैन पवन कुमार के साथ गौरव सावंत कीव यूक्रेन आज तक। We'll go back to Gaurav in just a moment. Uh, he was reporting from a site that's just come under a big missile attack on the outskirts of Kyiv. Very, very dramatic images. I'm going to get them as quickly as possible for you here on India Today. Let me show you in the meanwhile, in 30 seconds, the big defining images on day nine of the invasion. Gaurav Savant is reporting live from the outskirts of Kyiv. Explosion after explosion has been heard and seen on the outskirts of Kyiv, just about tens of kilometers away. Gaurav is in frame. As you can see, he's got a burning rising from a building here in Ukrainian capital Kyiv, not far from an airfield here. It is being said that there was not just uh, an air defense system, but uh, also uh, certain other offices. And you can hear more blasts that are taking place. We are moving away from this area. We are being told to leave this area because it's not safe to be here. Uh, you can hear some blasts that are taking place um, in, in this area. Uh, there was uh, still some time back, uh, there was some kind of... There was some kind of uh, sound, there were some kinds of sound where people were being asked to move away from this locality. Why was this building targeted? We are still uh, trying to get more details, but one of the officials who was present here uh, seemed to indicate that this is where they had some systems to keep, to protect the skies around Kiev, which means surface-to-air missiles were located in this area. We'll try and get more information on the systematic targeting of the capital Kiev. We have also been told that while there has been no loss of life, at least in this uh, blast, but certain other blasts, certain other areas are being vacated, even as we speak, as Kiev braces for an imminent attack over the next 24 to 48 hours. With cameraman Pavan Kumar reporting from Ground Zero, Kiev, Ukraine, Gaurav Savant for India Today. Gaurav Savant live with us on the outskirts of Ukraine, of Kyiv, the Ukrainian capital, showing us the site of damage. Very, very dramatic images. Like I told you, there's no compromise when it comes to India Today's reporting. We get you up close with where the damage is really being done. We're not sitting in our hotels. We're not sitting in Lviv and showing you what's happening in this war-torn country. We are on the outskirts of Kyiv, which has been a specific focus of targeted there attacks was, uh, for the last 12 hours. Uh, there was some kind of... There was some kind of uh, sound, there were some kinds of sound where people were being asked to move away from this locality. Why was this building targeted? We are still uh, trying to get more details, but one of the officials who was present here uh, seemed to indicate that this is where they had some systems to keep, to protect the skies around Kiev, which means surface-to-air missiles were located in this area. We'll try and get more information on the systematic targeting of the capital Kiev, we have also been told that while there has been no loss of life, at least in this uh, blast, but certain other blasts, certain other areas are being vacated, even as we speak, as Kyiv braces for an imminent attack over the next 24 to 48 hours. With cameraman Pavan Kumar reporting from Ground Zero, Kiev, Ukraine, Gaurav Savant for India Today. There was uh, still some time back, uh, there was some kind of... There was some kind of uh, sound, there were some kinds of sound where people were being asked to move away from this locality. Why was this building targeted? We are still uh, trying to get more details, but one of the officials who was present here uh, seemed to indicate that this is where they had some systems to keep, to protect the skies around Kiev, which means surface-to-air missiles were located in this area. We'll try and get more information on the systematic targeting of the capital Kiev. 
We have also been told that while there has been no loss of life, at least in this uh, blast, but certain other blasts, certain other areas are being vacated, even as we speak, as Kiev braces for an imminent attack over the next 24 to 48 hours. With cameraman Pavan Kumar reporting from Ground Zero, Kiev, Ukraine, Gaurav Savant for India Today. I want to go across to Maria Paisarenko, who's also with me live in Kiev. Uh, Maria, uh, Gaurav, who you know, our reporter on the ground, is reporting from a site, uh, you know, that was uh, hit by possible rocket fire or a cruise missile earlier today. I'll come back to you, Maria. Gaurav is with us live. Gaurav, uh, you are in an area that's been struck a short while ago by a cruise missile, apparently. Take us through what you're seeing. Be careful, Gaurav. All of India is watching you right now. Tell us what you're seeing. Shiv, we've just been told to get out of here because there is another missile fire or a rocket fire that is expected uh, in, in this area. That, that facility was struck. Apparently, it was struck because there was an air defense uh, facility there not far from the airfield. Uh, the attempt perhaps was to take out that airfield uh, and the air defense facility before this imminent attack. Um, and that is why we've been told to, uh, uh, you know, uh, to, to get out of there because more attacks are anticipated. Uh, the air raid siren and information that is coming in seems to indicate that more attacks could take place. And that is why uh, we are coming out of this, uh, this area in Kiev. This entire place has been sealed off. Uh, some of these localities are actually being asked. Residents are being asked to move to safer location in view of an imminent air to ground or a or a missile strike that's taking place shiv if you look around this is also the route this is actually the route that comes from the north uh, and uh, and kuldeep uh, kumar are, are, is giving us more information Kul kuldeep yeah, wait, 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 this camera okay we're getting the camera down for a moment shiv because this is a military checkpoint this is the road we're to the north. You got uh, we, we are just trying to negotiate give us a moment give us a moment Give us a moment. Give us yeah. a moment. We are just trying to get out of this uh, location. If you can see around. Drastiche. Drastiche. So, so these are images of Gaurav who is at a site that's been hit by a cruise missile or a rocket. We're not yes. sure what kind of weapon has hit that site. Uh, Gaurav, uh, Gaurav needs to move away from, uh, from that particular area. He's in a car right now. Yes, Gaurav, you back with us? Shiv, I'm, I'm back with you. I'm back yeah. with you. Shiv, two more, two more blasts. Two more blasts even as we speak, as we try and speed out of this place. Shiv, if you look around uh, and camera person Pavan Kumar will show you, many trees have been cut off here. Many trees cut off and put on the road. Many roadblocks set up. This is that road that comes from the north, that 63 kilometer long uh, uh, cavalcade or the, the Russian convoy that we are talking about. This is the road that that convoy is uh, meant to take. And, and that is why multiple roadblocks and checkpoints are being uh, set up here um, and barriers being set so that um, it's not an easy ride uh, for that huge convoy that's coming in. This locality has been asked to move to a safer location. Imagine asking thousands of people to move out of here and move to a safer location because this could well be a scene of a fierce battle between Russia and Ukraine. Shiv, you see, we barely crossed a couple of kilometers and the level of barriers and roadblocks that have been set up to stall the advance of the Russian uh, tanks and, uh, and armored personal carriers and that logistics convoy. Shiv, we are now trying to move to another safer location. We've been told to get off the main highway. But uh, look, where they don't have enough number of boulders, they're putting trucks on the road they're putting containers on the road and now we are actually trying to uh, trying to cross this cross this barricade uh, easier said than done uh, whether we are able to come out of here on the other side well depends on uh, mr kumar's uh, driving skills at the moment because uh, one, there is shelling that's happening here. Two, there are multiple roadblocks and everybody is on edge. Ask later uh, what's happening. And that is why we have our passports ready. You know, you, you switch on the light uh, of your vehicle immediately the moment you're there at a checkpoint and you show your passport. Like we say, we are journalists from India only here to cover it. Because of Mr. Kumar, we are able to communicate. Uh, there is there is no language barrier. Otherwise, uh, that Indian student who was shot at while trying to uh, get out of Kiev. And look, people are now asking for lifts to wicket this area, Shiv. 
this is the area yeah. that's likely to be targeted very extensively an imminent attack on this place and yet long queues for fuel people want to stock up fuel up and get out of here shiv extremely extremely tense here in this part of kiev that northern uh, that northern route we were trying to figure out why why was the progress so slow what is the situation on ground and just when we were traveling on that road there was a massive explosion there was a strike whether it was a rocket strike or a missile strike uh, we do not know at an air defense facility and that's another strike yeah, yeah, yeah. that's another blast that's another massive blast that's just happened a uh, barely uh, a few maybe kilometers away from us we can hear it and um, uh, you were speaking to that army officer on that picket uh, what did that army officer tell you usne yahi bataya ki ye jo ye jagah thi yahan par apna anti missile ya anti kuch rocket kuch anti missile anti kuch mujhe samajh uski kam aayi wo baat kyunki technical words usne use kiye lekin aapne bomb dekha jo gira hua tha aur abhi hamare hote hote main itna aaj tak itna nahi dara hu jitna ab mujhe dar laga kyunki hamare hote hote wahan par do bomb aur gire do dhamake aur hue aur एक किलोमीटर की रेंज में तो और उन्होंने बोला जितनी जल्दी हो सके आप सेफ जगह पे जाइए तो दैट्स वाई कि अपने जल्दी जल्दी हम लोग निकल रहे हैं फास्ट ड्राइव कर रहे हैं कि हम अपने घर पहुंच सके इस समय जल्दी से जल्दी शिव वंस अगेन पीपल हियर आर बीइंग टोल्ड रिमेन इन डोर यूर सेफेस्ट ओनली इन डोर एंड नॉट आउटसाइड ऑन द स्ट्रीट बट life life in kiev is such that people are venturing out uh, if if at all it's only to buy food and to buy medicines and for no other reason or if they want to leave the capital women and children can leave the men folk cannot even leave the national capital and and that is why you see shiv when when we came to ukraine when we came to kiev yes. uh, these roads there were massive traffic jams massive traffic jams and now hardly a person in sight as we speed down i mean we're almost at um, 180 180 kilometers per hour is our speed as we as we zip out and of course again another barricade another barricade where we, we where we will uh, most probably have to show our documents but uh, okay only one lane uh, is being checked the other lanes are through so uh, shift this is the situation on ground right now in kiev a missile strike a rocket strike and now the other part it's almost surreal here uh, people in these houses people moving out of these houses or people stocking up for fuel aur yahan par rupaye yahan ki currency ka grivnas ka rate ek bar phir kafi gir gaya hai 32 32 one yes one dollar equivalent to 32 grivnas so shiv within a fortnight we reached her about a fortnight ago uh, at that time one grivnas was about uh, 28 if i remember correctly it's already gone up to 32 uh, and You almost and not available Ma- that's the biggest problem money is not available exchange not available food and water shortage at this point of time so the situation appears to be taking a turn for the worst yeah. and as the russian president vladimir putin warned the worst is yet to come shiv god of stay with me please stay safe uh, you know if that blast has happened uh, a few kilometers away then it's most definitely dangerous uh, you know that much you and i uh, certainly know so please take all precautions absolutely nothing is a priority over safety we don't need a report from you if it means compromising on safety you know that very well but i need to reassure our viewers Uh, you know all of our your well wishers who are here in india who are watching you right now who are worried will you know through me they're going to convey to you please take all precautions okay we're watching you we need to know that you're okay i want to play out god of stay Absolutely. with me i want to play out for you i want to play out for our viewers what god of has just sent us from a site that has been attacked by a missile or a rocket thick plumes of smoke rising from a building here in ukrainian capital kiev not far from an airfield here it is being said that there was not just uh, an air defense system but uh, also uh, certain other offices and you can hear more blasts that are taking place we are moving away from this area we are being told to leave this area because it's not safe to be here uh, you can hear some blasts that are taking place um, in in this area Uh, there was uh, still some time back uh, there was some kind of there was some kind of uh, sound there was some kinds of sound where people were being asked to move away from this locality 
why was this building targeted? We are still uh, trying to get more details, but one of the officials who was present here uh, seemed to indicate that this is where they had some systems to keep to protect the skies around Kiev, which means surface to air missiles were located in this area. We'll try and get more information on the systematic targeting of the capital Kiev. We have also been told that while there has been no loss of life, at least in this uh, blast, but certain other blasts, certain other areas are being vacated even as we speak as Kiev braces for an imminent attack over the next 24 to 48 hours. With cameraman Pavan Kumar reporting from Ground Zero, Kiev, Ukraine, Gaurav Savant for India Today. And Gaurav and uh, Pavan are in that car along with their friend Kuldeep who's been taking them around uh, uh, Kiev city right now. Gaurav, uh, coming back to you right now, where are you headed? You know, while you've been reporting right through today, we've actually heard some of those hits. We've heard some of those missiles actually landing. It looks like things have dramatically escalated in Kiev over the last 15, 20 hours. Shiv, there has been a dramatic escalation uh, in, in situation on ground. Earlier, blasts were heard at a distance. Now these blasts are much closer, they are more frequent and they are bigger, they are deadlier uh, than the ones that we were hearing in the past days. It was almost as if earlier uh, the Russian artillery or the Russian missile systems, they were zeroing in on the target, but now they are hitting with deadly precision. Uh, the blast that took place at this facility, it's hit right at the center of that facility and to devastating effect that place has been completely gutted that place has been completely destroyed beyond that the blasts are coming closer outskirts closer to the city earlier on the east bank of the Dnieper uh, 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 Ripper, river now on both sides okay now we are being stopped at this facility. Uh, we've been told to park at a at a corner. Okay, we will again have to put our cameras down, Shiv. Uh, while the audio remains, you will be able to hear us. Uh, but our passports will be checked uh, on both sides. Give me a moment. Drastu check. Drastu we check. What bedlast ka? Dobre. Our video journalist. They are in that car. Uh, checking is happening. We just want to give you a sense of. Uh, what what it's like to report in a besieged Kiev, the capital of Ukraine, at this point of time. I know our viewers very much appreciate seeing everything that's happening there. Uh, you're only getting to see this through uh, the eyes of Gaurav and uh, and uh, Pavan uh, in that vehicle, moving around Kiev as cruise missiles are landing around the city. Uh, you know, kilometers from where they are. Uh, it's uh, yeah, you know nothing to glorify. It's dangerous, but India today is taking all precautions. Gaurav is a seasoned war reporter, and he will be taking all precautions. I can assure all of our viewers who are concerned watching these pictures, please don't be unsettled. Gaurav knows what he's doing, but we will once again, Gaurav, tell you please take all precautions, exercise all sef safety measures as you move around the city, because clearly things have escalated. Uh, Gaurav, air raid sirens have been going off. Life completely punctuated by air raids and bomb shelters in Kyiv. You've confirmed and Kuldeep Ji especially has also confirmed because he said he's never been that unsettled in his whole life. That is very unsettling. That's one of the most unsettling things I've heard, Gaurav. For a, for a citizen of Kyiv to say he's never been this unsettled in his Shit. life. It's very worrisome. It's very worrisome. Uh, you and I have covered conflict in Libya. Uh, you know, you and I ducked Colonel Gaddafi's uh, strafing uh, by, by his by his MiG-27s, if I remember correctly, uh, when we were in Ras Lanouf. So we know what's it like to be in combat zone, but that's actual combat zone here. Uh, this is this is an urban environment. It's a European capital, a European capital where if, a, a European capital that's actually famous for for its parties for its high life for people living it up and what do we witness here it's it's almost like a war ravaged capital 
already and the worst is yet to come uh, we were reporting from kharkiv and kharkiv today is 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 in a is in a shambles we were reporting from mariupol now there are tanks on the streets of mariupol um, i was speaking to one of the journalists i was in touch with he said the hotel we were staying in the places we were reporting from those areas have been targeted uh, by the by, by the russian artillery and by russian rockets while we were there the airfield was targeted uh, uh, by by the russian air, air, air uh, missile path now what do we notice very systematically shiv the facilities here airfields taken out which means it's very difficult for the air force here to fly air defense systems taken out which means it's very difficult to protect the skies of this area uh, strategic other assets being taken out in terms of blowing up ammunition depots and dumps so that there is no there is no availability of of uh, ammunition or replenishment fuel depots being destroyed which means long queues for fuel whatever fuel is available is only for the armed forces civilians face a hardship a, even a power station even a power station has been targeted uh, and that goes on to show the aim is to bring the city and the country down on its knees and it's very systematically being done it's taken 9 days but ninth day the war is very close to the ukrainian capital kiev shiv there's some very serious firepower that's being used uh, you know on ukraine cities right now gorov has reported from a site of you know what could very well be a cruise missile strike we we cannot confirm that and we don't want to make a conclusion but uh, caliber cruise missiles are being used uh, uh, you know on ukraine at this time very advanced long range cruise missiles are being used ballistic missiles are also being used as also artillery and rockets so gorovs uh, has just begun reporting from a site where some kind of a projectile weapon it looks pretty big gorov to be honest it looks pretty the the, the kind of damage to that building looks uh, way beyond what uh, the usual kind of rocket fire can actually inflict Let me play out for you what Gorov sent us. Watch this report and I'll go back to him. एक बड़ा धमाका राजधानी कीव में ये कीव के पास एक एयरफील्ड के पास धमाका हुआ है और फायर ब्रिगेड की गाड़ियां अभी अभी इस इलाके में पहुंच रही हैं इस आग को बुझाने का प्रयास किया जा रहा है ये एयरपोर्ट के पास एयरफील्ड के पास एक फैक्ट्री है जिसको निशाना बनाया गया इस फैक्ट्री को निशाना क्यों बनाया गया क्योंकि यहां पर कहा जा रहा है कि कुछ एयर डिफेंस का सिस्टम इंस्टॉल था और कीव के आसपास के एयर डिफेंस के सिस्टम को पूरी तरह से ध्वस्त करने का प्रयास कर रही है रूस की सेना बहुत स्पेसिफिक इंटेलिजेंस के आधार पर इस तरह के ऑपरेशंस को अंजाम दिया जा रहा है अब से थोड़ी देर पहले यह धमाका हुआ और और धमाके इस इलाके में हो भी रहे हैं वो दर्शाता है कि यहां पर किस तरह के ऑपरेशंस को अंजाम दे रहा है इस समय रूस खासा तनाव कीव के इस इलाके में और इसको पूरी तरह से खाली भी कराया जा रहा है एक के बाद एक धमाके और धमाकों के अलावा यहां पर कहा यह जा रहा है कि रूस की तरफ से कुछ ऐसे कमांडो दस्ते आए हैं जो इस इलाके को खाली कराने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं कुछ ऐसे लोग हैं जो इस इलाके में और नुकसान पहुंचाने का प्रयास कर रहे हैं ताकि जितना भी कीव का एयर डिफेंस का सिस्टम है जमीन से आकाश में वार करने वाली मिसाइलें हैं वो ध्वस्त हो जाएं अभी कुछ रॉकेट के हमले हुए हैं कुछ मिसाइल के हमले हुए हैं और अंदेशा यह है कि इसके बाद राजधानी कीव पर विमान के हमले यानी हवा से जमीन पर वार कर, करने का प्रयास भी किया जाएगा और इसी से पहले एयर डिफेंस सिस्टम को पूरी तरह से ध्वस्त किया जा रहा है इस बिल्डिंग में अभी तक किसी के हताहत होने की तो खबर नहीं है आ, कहा यह जा रहा है कि यहां पर जो लोग थे वो तो भागने में सफल हुए लेकिन इस मलबे को साफ करके आ, वो देखने का प्रयास किया जा रहा है कि क्या यहां से किसी को सुरक्षित निकाला जा सकता है फिलहाल कीव पर खतरा बड़ा है और बरकरार है अगले 24 से 48 घंटे में कीव पर एक बड़े हमले का अंदेशा है कैमरामैन पवन कुमार के साथ गौरव सावंत कीव यूक्रेन आज तक thick plumes of smoke rising from a building here in Ukrainian capital Kiev not far from an airfield here it is being said that there was 
not just uh, an air defense system, but uh, also uh, certain other offices. And you can hear more blasts that are taking place. We are moving away from this area. We are being told to leave this area because it's not safe to be here. Uh, you can hear some blasts that are taking place um, in, in this area. Uh, there was uh, still some time back, uh, there was some kind of... There was some kind of uh, sound, there were some kinds of sound where people were being asked to move away from this locality. Why was this building targeted? We are still uh, trying to get more details, but one of the officials who was present here uh, seemed to indicate that this is where they had some systems to keep, to protect the skies around Kiev, which means surface to air missiles were located in this area. We'll try and get more information on the systematic targeting of the capital Kiev. We have also been told that while there has been no loss of life, at least in this uh, blast, but certain other blasts, certain other areas are being vacated, even as we speak, as Kiev braces for an imminent attack over the next 24 to 48 hours. With cameraman Pavan Kumar reporting from Ground Zero, Kiev, Ukraine, Gaurav Savant for India Today. Gaurav Savant continues to be with us on the outskirts of Kyiv. We also have with us India Today's Maria Paisarenko, who's reporting from Kyiv. Uh, uh, Maria, we've just played out that ground report by Gaurav from the outskirts of Kyiv, where, you know, some kind of an attack has taken place on a factory not very far from the airport, uh, you know, some kind of a facility. What are you hearing, uh, Maria? Any clarity on what this building is that has just been attacked? Huge plume of smoke. It's been completely uh, destroyed in this attack. Could be a missile attack. Anything that you're hearing? Uh, no, for now, we yet to have uh, received the confirmation of official um, sources from the uh, probably uh, Oblast administration, Kiev Oblast administration, uh, because uh, every time uh, we, over the course of these nine days of war, we have seen the, such situations when we see like a missile um, um, hitting some building, and there are a lot of, uh, uh, you know, um, guesses uh, about what that is and if this really was a target. But uh, the news of today's day, so half of the day already is gone, uh, the terrible news where not only uh, this hit uh, in the um, uh, Kiev Oblast, but also what happened in uh, Zhutomer, uh, we've seen this massive casualties, uh, 47 people dead because of bombing of civil uh, residential houses, residential quarters. So this really scares people all over Ukraine, all over the different cities, and so also here in Kyiv. And I want you to show now how people are preparing for possible attacks of Russians uh, just in the residential quarters of uh, Kyiv, Ukraine. So we are now in old town Kyiv, and now I will show you how the windows of these residential quarters are looking. So you can see clearly that uh, the windows are... Um, uh, protected in a way, so people have put uh, these stripes of, of uh, tape, special tape, you know, uh, so uh, one moment you will see it better. So the tape on both sides of their windows, uh, so that in a case of really very large blast or a large explosion, um, the pieces of glass would not fall all over the flat and won't harm people who are inside. So. This is one yes. example of how people are getting ready for a uh, possible attack. And for example, this is a pretty massive, you know, event because people were warned about a possible attack, a possible war, um, bombings. And I will turn my camera, flip the camera, and you can see just the windows of this house. Like th this, these windows are also uh, all taped, like crisscrossed. So, so they put these uh, tapes so that uh, in order to keep away from um, a lot of pieces of glass. Mm -hmm. But this is only one thing that uh, not, not much things uh, people can do now to protect their houses from possible Russian attacks. And in Kyiv here, we have been expecting that uh, the bombings would be much heavier. And the um, recent days, mm -hmm. which were pretty, pretty calm and pretty silent, are very suspiciously silent. And we expect that if Russians are silent here in Kyiv, maybe um, they do not attack uh, the, uh, any, any other new targets. So maybe they are preparing for you know, even yeah. worse attack. And people here are really worried about the, the perspective of the coming several days. It could be 
a week maybe and also I want to talk a bit about the casualties so the updated numbers are casualties from ukrainian side is two thousand people roughly mm. because nobody has uh, exact numbers as we see one attack on zhitomer and 47 lives gone so it's terrible and uh, from the russian side according to what ukrainian officials are reporting um, we can see more than 900, uh, 9,000 um, Russian uh, uh, troops, yes, uh, Russian military yes. being killed. Yeah. So that's, that's the, the uh, information for now. Back to you. Maria, stay with me uh, and I hope you're safe because uh, you know the number of attacks that appear to be happening around Kyiv, the number actually seems to be going up. Well, you know, this is not conjecture. We're actually witnessing this uh, uh, you know, through your eyes, through the eyes of our reporters. We're hearing the explosions as well. Gaurav, uh, Gaurav Savant is back with us. Uh, Gaurav, are these attacks, are these missile strikes, are these explosions uh, you know, moving closer towards the you know the the the, the, the built-up areas of Kiev, are you are you noticing that, or is it still on the outskirts? Shiv, as of now, these attacks remain on the outskirts of Kyiv, but the situation appears to be worsening in the sense that earlier, these attacks were on the other side of the river. Now they appear to have come on, on, on even the uh, earlier the east side of the river, now even on the west side of the river. Um, yesterday, when we were reporting from Krushatik, which is the heart of Kyiv, the explosions were not far from there. Earlier, you could hear them at a distance. Now you hear them much closer. And this attack, where we visited the site uh, where the attack had taken place, Place. This appears to be, uh, you know, a precision-guided uh, attack in the sense that they've targeted right at the heart of that facility and not the residential buildings. And this is not very far uh, from where homes even were. Uh, so the fact remains, it, it it's almost as if someone from within is either guiding them or the Russians have, have very precise coordinates of the places to target. Uh, we still have to wait uh, to, to get more clarity on what this facility was. Yes. Air defense system is what some of the officials on ground said, uh, but whether it actually was one or not, we do not have an official confirmation on that uh, from officials here. As Maria was telling you, that fear now stalks the streets and stalks the streets extremely, extremely close, Shiv, with a lot of people wanting just to get out of Kiev and be out of harm's way. Um, in some of the localities, when we spoke to locals, their effort was get parents out of this area because they would find it very difficult to move. For example, if in the middle of the night an air raid siren goes up, the youngsters can quickly move into an air raid uh, shelter. They can run down, get into the bunker, but the elderly cannot. And the elderly actually prefer to stay where they are. We spoke to a senior citizen just this morning who said, it's fate. If I have to go this way, I will go this way, irrespective of whether it's a Russian strike or I fall down and hit my head against something. So, you know, that kind of uh, depression yeah. or, or despair, dip, despair actually, uh, you know, it's, it's that despair that's very, that very apparent on the faces of people in a very bustling city. And especially after the statement made by the Russian president um, saying that unless his aims are achieved, the worst is yet to come. This city is actually bracing for that worst that is yet to come. Whether that happens in the next couple of hours, tonight or in the nights ahead, we still do not know. You know, we still do not know whether Russia wants to consolidate more uh, towards Kharkiv, um, consolidate in Mariupol, get that yes. entire Donbass region uh, in, in, their, in their control get completely cut off Ukraine from the Black Sea region and then start advancing? Or are they adopting a multi-pronged strategy? Just yesterday, Shiv, Ukrainian army chief said that we can attack. We are, not, we are not fighting a defensive war. We are now fighting an offensive war that we are taking the battle into the enemy stronghold. This, the, these were his statements. But just today, the attack seems to be coming closer home in Kiev. Gaurav, stay safe, my friend.